let's check out the lineage os 18.1 official build on our moto g 5g or motorola 1 5gs and also see how to install it so let's get started so currently i'm running an older build of the lineage os 18.1 and it's still running on the android 11 we have an unofficial lineage os 19.1 which is built on android 12 and uh, feature wise it's not really heavily customizable like other roms we do see some uh, additional customization here and there we can edit and add some quick toggles and also enable the dark mode and the gcam app is also working uh, with no issues and in the setting we see some options for in the display for saturation levels and we see some options for the status bar for the brightness slider we can choose to always show the brightness slider we can enable and disable the status bar icons and this is how the lock screen looks so basic customization options we also have some launcher related customization so you can explore that and uh, the battery backup i've been getting is really good i've been using it without a sim card but still i'm getting 11 hours of sot mainly using for the multimedia and social media so now let's see how to install it on our phone so we need to have an external sd card and in there we will have the rom file and the lineage os recovery and the g apps the lineage os recovery have to be flashed uh, using the fastboot command from the pc i already have a video and also i will leave the detailed guide on how to do that along with all the links in the description so make sure you check that so assuming you have flashed the lineage os recovery we will boot into the recovery by pressing and holding the volume down and the power button or you can just restart and then just press the volume down button and it should boot into the bootloader mode because we do not see the advanced restart option as far as i've checked now using the volume down button choose the reboot to recovery option and press the power button to select it and after a while you will be booted on the into the lineage os recovery and using the volume button we will navigate and choose uh, install from S android and here we will select our rom file so just navigate using the volume down button and select using the power button and it will start the flashing process and it's going to take a while so after it is done we need to go back so press the volume up button and use the arrow key and we need to actually go to advance and then reboot to recovery again so make sure you do that and after we reboot to the recovery again we can go ahead and flash the g apps so similarly just locate the package and using the volume buttons and then just select the g apps package in this case i am flashing the pico g apps so after the process has started we may see this error or uh, this dialog box which says the verification has failed but ignore it and just go ahead with the install and the flashing should start so after gapps we can flash the magisk uh, which is needed to root our device and also to pass the safety net as by default the safety net does not pass so i will recommend you to flash the magisk just after flashing the gapps and similarly we will see the dialog box again about the verification so we can just go ahead with the installation so after installing Magisk, if it is a clean flash, we need to factory reset our device. So go to the factory reset and then using the power button, uh, clean your format your data. But if you are uh, coming from a lineage OS and updating your ROM, then we do not need to do that and we can simply restart our device. So our data is not wiped. So that is how you do it. and now i've restarted and you can see that i'm running on the latest security patch and it has successfully updated and also my all my data is safe and in the safety net checker you can see the safety net is also passing and that is because i've installed the magisk and in the module section you can see i have these modules i also have a video on how to do it but uh, all the links will be in the description as always 
so yes that was how you can uh, install the latest lineage os and the official one and also pass the safety net so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one